on When I was a kid. Today we've got a deadly photographer with us today who's got heaps and heaps of experience. Let me introduce you to Uncle Merv Bishop. G'day, Uncle. How you going? Yeah, I'm a guru. What's that language then? That's from where I come from, Brewarana. Brewarana? That, that means good day. Good day. What I mean, Derek means good to see ya. Wow. So good to see you. What are me? Good to see you too. Where's your mob from? Brewarana. Yeah. It's a little country town way out west in New South Wales. And what's the name of the mob out that way? There's a few mobs out there. Camilleroy, uh-huh. Larkinji, further down the river. Uh, there's uh, Nemba mob, uh, Morawari. Uh huh. There's a few other ones around that way. I guess you went to school when you were a kid, did you? I went to school in Brewarana, Brewarana Central. Oh, It was okay. a lovely little school. Yeah? I love, I love going to school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Uncle, did you ever get into trouble? Yeah, we were kids. Yeah? What, yeah. what sort of things did you do to get in trouble? Well, I used to get into trouble a lot at school, sometimes for chatting in class. Gee, that sounds real naughty. Oh, dear, and sometimes, Max... Yeah? You'd have to stand up and go into the corner oh. and not say a word until the end of the lesson. True. That would have been hard, eh? It was. And then when, if you stood there for a while and you did everything, all was forgiven? Oh, yes. Yeah, you listen to that, Max? Yeah, I got it. OK, well, we might see you later then, Max. Thanks, Uncle. OK, so see ya. Hey, Uncle, did you have a favourite teacher at school? I did. It was Miss McManus. Yeah. Why was she your favourite teacher? She taught me how to read and write and enjoy reading. She was just a really nice person. Do you know what? What? Earlier this year, I saw Miss McManus. Oh, did you? Did she remember you? Certainly. I took a photograph of her and her friends. Yeah? And there's a picture of me and Miss McManus. Deadly! Uncle Merv is a good photographer, right? How did you discover that you could take a photo? Well, when I was young, I wanted to be a pilot. Uh Uh-huh. And so me and my mate used to ride on our bikes out to the aerodrome and we'd wait for the aeroplanes to come in. And then one day, I borrowed Mum's camera. Yeah? Mum said, what's all these photos of (laughs) aeroplanes? Don't go wasting a film on those. Got a mum. I said, I love those aeroplanes. Yeah? I want to become a pilot. Yeah? Oh, all right. I saved my money and I bought myself a slide camera. Oh, okay. So I'd take colour slides. Oh. I'd borrowed a projector. Yeah. And we'd put a sheet up on the oh, clothesline. Yeah. So yeah. a big slide nine in the backyard under the big sky. My wall, yeah. Excuse me, Uncle Merv, when you're talking to people and you're teaching them about taking photos, what tips would you give the kids at home and me about what you got to remember? Well, you don't have to have a... A very expensive camera to take good photographs. Always try to keep the subject in the middle of the frame. Try not to backlight the subject and don't have them staring into the sun. Try to take pictures on the side if you can. And uh, a little fill flash makes, makes the image so much better. That's great. Thank you very much for being on our show today. It's been really good talking with you, Uncle Merv. See you next time on When I Was a Kid. When you were a kid? No, when you was a kid. When I was a kid? Yeah, when you was a kid. What other wee little kid? Yeah, when you was you were as old as I was once, weren't you? Hi, I'm Mervyn Bishop. You're watching Yarramundi Kids. Strong, smart and deadly. Yeah.